Hi, my name is Alex Kreese, and this is my first blog on printer action. 3D printers are a great resource because they allow us to make things that weren't even possible to make before. 3D printing has brought making things to an entirely new level. In terms of a manufacturing process, it's great. We have printers like the Stratasys Object Printer that can print multiple materials to create fully functional assemblies right off the build plate. Um, in terms of a manufacturing process, it's relatively hands-off. The only time we actually interact with our parts is during post-processing, when we smooth off the surfaces to get a clean finish, or when we tap the hole so that we can mount it to a larger assembly. But we don't really need a printer that can print in multiple materials, multiple parts, to print a multi-material object. Most of what we need is already in front of us, a simple 3D printer and a couple of parts that we want to play around with. So what, what can we do with these tools? What if we use these tools to modify the print as it was being printed to produce some even more amazing objects from the 3D printers? Now I've talked about post-processing a 3D printed part, but what if we decided to adjust the part as it was being printed? What if we co-process this part? If we modify and adjust this 3D printed job as it's being printed to produce content that wasn't able to be produced before. Now, I have here this double-sided bolt. You can't screw any nuts on it, you can't take anything off, but there are threads at the middle. What if I wanted to adjust this? What if I co-process this part to put a nut on the middle of it? How would I do that? Well, let's start our print of the part. Once the threads have gotten tall enough, we can pause the print, screw a nut onto the print, and then continue the job. So this is a relatively simple example of co-processing. But what we've done here is made a multi-material, multi-part assembly that came right off the print bed. 3D printing entire assemblies is great, but especially on less expensive printers, the parts can be very weak and brittle and can snap along the build lines. Using co-processing, we can avoid that issue entirely by using stronger parts to place into the print job as it's being printed to produce our final product. Co-processing has a lot of potential in a lot of really interesting places. If you're interested about learning more, or if you have some ideas, please comment, please subscribe, or email me at 3dprinteraction at gmail.com. Thank you, and see you next week.